I just wanted to say, hey, I mean, hey, right? <laughs>
And then I decided to look for some people on the internet and do a little bit more research. Um, of course, after it was in progress, and I found Christine, or actually Christine from Hay Bale, uh, Straw Bale Garden Australia found me. And so she is the person who's connected me with this collaboration, and I'm really excited. Hi, Christine, so nice to see you. Um, as long as your bandwidth hasn't run out, I'll try and make this short. Ooh, it's already five minutes, I better talk faster. Or not as much, one or the other, I'll work on that. Um, so Christine over at Straw Bale Gardening Australia is going to be one of our mentors. She has actually written a little a chapter, a quick little guide to Straw Bale Gardening. Um, and I will link you to her channel and hopefully she'll have her revised edition up so you can buy that if you're interested. I'll let you know when it's out if it's not out yet. She's working on it. Um, sorry, there's a cat down by my feet and I'm trying not to move so I don't step on Sweet Tater Tot. Here, you want to see Sweet Tater? Quick view. There's sweet tater. Oh, and I'm in the middle of planting. So there are little pots around. I started a ton from seed um, this year inside. It's so nerve wracking. Oh, growing from seeds is not as, it's much more rewarding than just going out and buying seedlings. But when they die, it's so sad. And there have been a few deaths. I'll get to that when we talk about the hay bale. Actually, the things in the hay bales are looking great. I just put in a bunch of stuff last night that I'm gonna look at. I'm actually gonna give, that's gonna be my next video, is a tour of the hay bale end of the garden with an update on plantings that are going on in there. So that'll be next coming up after this video if you are interested in knowing what's actually planted in the hay bales. So besides Christine, we also have another mentor, CB. I've gotta look because I had to write it down. Um, um, CB's greenhouse and garden over in North Carolina. So CB has been, oh my gosh, has a gorgeous, gorgeous garden. Besides the hay bale, the straw bales, um, does so much, so many other things. Um, that's a cool channel to check out. And I have snakes in my garden, which I love. I'm like, hello, little snake, come here. And CB has baby copperheads. So he's not quite so welcoming of those, and I totally understand that. Um, we also have Opie at Brew City Gardener, who is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, he's super funny. And he has actually been of the collaboration. He's the person who has been straw bale gardening the longest. And he's got a really good little series on how to condition your bales. If you are interested in knowing more about that, you should check him, him out. I will actually be linking everyone down below so you can check things out in the description and go visit other channels because it's always nice to say hello uh, to your neighbors, right? Um, I'm in Oregon, so I am in zone 8B and the closest neighbor that I have in the collaboration is Linda up at PG Nano Farms. She is in Washington and she has just started conditioning and planting in her bales. I have a little bit of a jump start on everyone this year because I'm kind of antsy in my pantsy and I wanted to get things going which has resulted in at least two semi-tragedies. I've recovered but yeah there were some tomatoes involved and it wasn't pretty. Mm. There are videos, you can watch them. It's a channel, there's a lot of stuff. I won't summarize it all because I'm talking too much and the video is gonna to be too long for Christine. Okay, um, we also have uh, Rob over at Ession's Family Farm who is in North Virginia. Let me double check, yes, Northern Virginia. Um, who, this is the first year also for the Straw Bale Garden for Rob. So it'll be fun to see what goes on over there. He's got some really cool beds that he's built. Um, and we'll talk about why I kind of wish I had those here, but I'm also glad I don't because not sure exactly what's going on at this end of the garden in the future. We'll see how this year goes. And then we also have um, the folks who started this collaboration, Henry and Irene over at Brainstorm Acres. They are super charming and they are in Arizona in the high desert with little topsoil and they have to truck in water. So it's gonna be really interesting to compare the growing conditions we all have, how our straw and my hay bales perform and what we get out of it. So I just wanted to say hello, finally. I'm a little bit behind everyone else because we've had some family stuff going on and that's in other videos if you're interested. But I am so glad that you came over to watch and I hope that you will be following all of us throughout our growing season to see what happens with the hay and the straw bales as the season progresses. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you will join me again so that next time we can actually do a little bit of growing or touring the hay bales at least together.